Okay, we're in the book of First Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 through 9, and it reads, Blessed be the Most High and Father of our Lord Hamashiach, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Hamashiach from the dead, to the inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Verse 5. Who are kept by the power of the Most High through faith unto salvation, ready to be rebuilt in the last time. Verse 6. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations, okay, which is the temptations of this world, the wickedness of this world, the customs of this world, okay? Verse 7. That the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perished, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Hamashiach, verse 8, whom have not seen ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, meaning he's not here in the flesh anymore, but he's in the spirit, he's quickened in the spirit, right? Ye believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, verse 9, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls, okay? The salvation of your souls, okay? Right here, in this sense, it can be referred to as your your spirit, okay? But initially, as I've said, this is what this whole video is about. It's referring to your body. This is the salvation of your body, the saving of your body, the redemption of you, okay? Let's go to St. Mark again, chapter 3. Try to speed this up a little bit because I don't want this battery to go dead. Okay, we're in the book of St. Mark, chapter 3, verses 27 to 29, and it reads, No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, All sins shall be forgiven, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemes wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. Verse 29, But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost have never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation. Okay, so if you're blaspheming the Holy Ghost, which is the people of the Most High Man, the ones who's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, and preaching this word through you, VIA video or on the streets or whatever, then you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit if you're saying that we don't have the Holy Spirit, man, because we're teaching the truth of these scriptures here. We're not feeding you some false doctrine from some religious Christianity and Roman Catholicism and Buddhism and Hinduism and Islam, okay? We're the ones with the true Holy Spirit, man, all right? Let's go to the book of Hebrews, and then I'm going to end it there. Okay, we're in the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verses 12 through 16, and it reads, For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul, okay, and spirit. That's a clear determination of soul and spirit there, all right? And of the joints and the marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart, which is the mind. Okay, so these scriptures right here is the discerner of the thoughts and intentions of your mind, man. Whether you want to believe in the one and true only, most high in his son Hamashiach, and keep his law, statutes, and commandments, or you don't. All right, I'm trying to speed this up because I don't want the, ba the battery to die, right? <laughs> Verse 12 again. For the word of the most high is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and the joints and the marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Verse 13, neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight, but all things are naked and open unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. Verse 14, seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed into the heavens, Hamashiach, the son of the most high, let us behold our profession, verse 15, 
For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin, meaning the Most High sent Hamashiach here to teach us righteousness, and he sinned not. That's the reason why he tells us it's, it's okay for us to be angry, but we, we shouldn't be in sin. Okay? Be angry, be mad, and sin not. That's what Hamashiach did. He was perfect while he was here in the flesh. Okay? Verse 15 again. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmity. So that's meaning that he was sent here in the flesh and he felt everything that we felt. He went through everything that we went through. That's why he was sent here to lead as an example for us to live in righteousness. Although we are tempted by the wickedness of the world, right? But was in all points tempted like as we were yet without sin. Verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly onto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need which is today okay which is all of the the chaos and confusion and uh delusion that's going on today man not only do false religion and false philosophies and false gods and dogmas and 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 myth and mythical things but also what this vaccination that's going on man right a lot of our people are not doing the due diligence on this vaccination and their ingredients and how it's it's having complications with the people who's receiving it man okay so i ain't gonna speak no more man i can go on and on but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i don't want the camera to turn off on me okay okay so once again this is your brother i got for the seed souls of israel and the milk delivers of israel once again delivering that milk and sowing that seed to all of our people out there for eyes to see, ears to hear, and a mind to understand, preferably the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, and the Seminole Indians.